Good afternoon, this is Between the Lines Live at SanduskyRegister.com. I'm Matt Westerhold, Managing Editor, Executive Editor of the Sandusky Register, and my guest today is Sandusky City Commissioner Dave Waddington, who wants to talk to anybody out there who has ever thought, maybe I should run for City Commission. Uh, he wants to talk to you about that and share his experience. Uh, Dave is a community-oriented person, and he wants to see as many people participate in local government as possible. The more the merrier, uh, the better community we are. We're going to meet Dave in just a moment and talk about his history on City Commission and what prospective candidates uh, can learn uh, or find out. Uh, about possibly running for city commission or other offices. Uh, before we meet Dave, I want to mention that Between the Lines is brought to you by Serving Our Seniors for Erie County residents age 60 and better. If you need help, call Serving Our Seniors at 419-624-1856. Patrick Fanner, news editor Patrick Fanner, is producing this segment of Between the Lines today. Patrick, what's in tomorrow's newspaper? What should people be looking for on their newsstands? What's the big story? Well, there's going to be an update on the mental health board from Erie County from you. Yeah, that's an interesting story. Our own Butch Wagner uh, made the Hall of Fame for AP. That'll be in there. Cool. And we're honoring healthcare. Uh, frontline workers on the front page tomorrow. Another excellent uh, weekender edition of the Snusky Register. We ask that if you are not a home subscriber, you consider becoming a home subscriber, and you can do that by going to sanduskyregister.com slash subscribe and see a whole uh, litany of options to receive the paper at home or just get the electronic edition of our newspaper. Uh, please support local journalism. We make a difference and uh, we serve the community and we appreciate your support. And with that, we'll meet Dave Waddington, Mr. Sandusky City Commissioner Dave Waddington. Thank you for being on Between the Lines. Thanks for the invite, man. I appreciate uh, your uh, efforts. Well, as a, as a city commissioner, certainly you've been doing it a long time. You are in your fourth term fourth as a term. city commissioner. Yep. Uh, two terms beginning in 2004. You were first elected right. in 2003. Right. And you did two four-year terms. That took you to 2012. 11, yeah, basically yeah. end of 11, yeah. And uh, you had to sit out four years. Right. And you were elected five and a half years ago, and you've since been re-elected. So, right, right. I'm in my 14th year, fourth term now. And technically, you could run for one more term after this one? Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That's part of why I'm here today. So. And you're here today because you want other people to run for right, right, office. Right, right, right. Not only uh, uh, this time, but maybe in two years. I've been contacted by a few folks and had some conversations about how to go about running. Mm -hmm. And the fr uh, biggest thing, I, I uh, tell them, what is your passion? And if have you lived in the city of Snusky, you've got to be a three-year resident to even uh, kick this off. And then the uh, second caveat to all this is we have several boards. Say if you don't decide to run this fall, you could run in two years by uh, learning with one of our boards, say recreation, planning. Right. Which we always have openings, and that's a good uh, template for government. You can learn, you know, the day in, day out stuff. It's, uh, that's an excellent way to introduce this is, is there are boards uh, of commission, right. uh, you know, committees of Commission right. and other boards in the city that govern things such as um, uh, code enforcement, right. uh, you know, and other things, and, and that is a great way to get the experience, is right. what you're saying, right. to get an idea of what it would be like being on commission and, and dealing with issues that a commissioner deals with. So if someone's interested in that, how do they find out about the boards that might be available? Oh, uh, they could contact our clerk, uh, Mackenzie Spriggs. She's also, uh, as of uh, Monday's commission meeting, prior to the meeting, she's had uh, calls about what do you have to do to run, and that kind of set 
my head off because I've been questioned about it too. What do you have to do? I'm not aware if other commissioners are feel, uh, you know, getting the questions like I am. Or so, what do you have to do to run? Well, the first thing that uh, you have to do is, uh, I would think, is have a passion or love for the city of Sandusky. Uh, right now, uh, coming out of this COVID, like I uh, indicated to you earlier. Uh, I can see us uh, steamrolling the next couple years. A lot. I envision a lot of big things happening. Okay, as far as the city. But uh, as I ran my first term, uh, uh, I didn't have a clue about. I got paperwork with me here today. What to do? Where to go? I was kind of like clueless, and uh, I was disgruntled or complained a little bit about. Boy, why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? You know, reading the paper, listening to radio. And um, uh, I said, you know what, I'm going to run. And uh, I did not have uh, this information. It was like, I was like uh, uh, a race car trying to get all this. I'd go out to the county. They do walk you through it. You have to be patient. So you, you have to go to the county elections board. Correct. <clears throat> at, on Perkins on Columbus Avenue. Right, correct. Uh, out, out in Perkins Township. And there's been a lot of and, folks, okay. and, and, and you have to, you know, see, you know, you, you said that they run you through it. What does that mean? Okay, when you go in there, you, uh, whatever clerk you get, you'd say that uh, I would like uh, um, material, material information for the run for the city of Sandusky okay. for the commission race, and she'll give you that packet. But the biggest piece that you want to get when you go out there is designation of your treasurer. And that goes to the office, the house secretary of state. That has to be filled out and have someone, uh, whoever you designate your treasurer takes care of your in-kind or donations and everything. They have to In-kind is if someone uh, allows a service or right. a use of something. But you it still donates to your campaign uh, in some manner, either financially with a monetary. But, but what you're saying is you go to the elections board, and there's an orientation. You'll get an yeah, orientation. They'll, they'll walk you through it Those, from from uh, the, the, the county elections. Yeah, there's clerks out there, and you just uh, uh, even when I went out to pick this up uh, for a friend, uh, they said, "Do you understand?" Who's the friend, Dave? I can't. Who's the I, I can't say that. But anyway, uh, they'll walk you through everything. Do you have any questions? And I like that. But still, when I every time I did mine, I got a hold of say. Uh, Kevin Zier, Judy Corso, could you just look at these? There are and then, people to ask. Yeah, and then I laid all my petitions down. Are the dates right? And then I right. have five, six people look at that. All right, and I want to I want to cut through this as quickly as we can. But what he's talking about is a petition. You have to file an election petition. Correct. Meaning you go out and you seek the signatures of registered voters in the city of Sandusky to sign your petition and say I support. John Doe's candidacy for Sandusky City Correct. Commission. And they got to be a uh, resident of Sandusky and a uh, voter, you, you know, that they're on the... And, uh, and what Dave is saying is you just got to make sure you do it properly, and there are plenty of people, including Dave, who will assist you in making sure your petition is properly filled out. And what do you have to do? Get like 10,000 signatures? Or? No, they only require 100, but I was always... Uh, uh, I was always in panic mode. I would get like 250 and then go through them. Right. You know, like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm not so sure. That's not a Sandusky address where I draw a line to. That one's not good. If I got two or three of them, right. uh, pitch. But I always made sure I had 200 or at least 100 more and go through them all. That's your responsibility, as they say here. And they have the Erie County Board of Elections has a candidate's petitions instructions. And right there is for... Uh, before you run, when you file, how you circulate, and then you have a, uh, you have to turn these in. It, what I always did, uh, last time anyway, I got all my own signatures. Now you can have a circulator, person, circulator but they have to sign, put on here, uh, which signatures they got, and I thought, now, I'm not going to take that chance. And, and I don't want to get in the weeds. This is the first step of, right, of becoming right. a candidate. Oh, yeah. It yeah. is not that difficult to get 100 valid signatures. And what you're saying is get more than 100 exactly. so you're, you're sure you have enough. 
But you can get those. You can go come downtown. You, you know, people support candidates. July 4th. And, and you have to file that petition uh, by August 4th? Correct. Four but Dave, you, you know, what you're saying is also you ask somebody who knows. So any city commissioner will likely assist right. you. Uh, elections board people will assist you in making sure your petition is, is signed. Don't wait to the last minute. Correct. Because uh, if you wait to the last minute, you might not be able to correct your your petition. Right. You know, it might be too late. But you're available. What you, you want people to call you to reach out to you? At, yeah, not, at City yeah, not Hall. only if uh, let's say uh, this time's not good for them. It's in two years. If they want to call me and I could uh, connect them with our uh, uh, commission clerk, and maybe there's a board and they might have an opening in two or three months, get on that board, and then you can find out. You can learn so much by being in City Hall, you know, on these boards. And, and why, why should people consider running for City Commission? Well, it does, it does take time. There's a lot of uh, reading, uh, phone calls. I found that uh, uh, our City Manager, Mr. Whoopser, for me, if I catch him early in the morning, that's a good time, and I can cut drive through a lot of, uh, if I had four or five questions, within 30 seconds, I'll have, okay, got it, got it, got it. Now, what about this? So so what if there's a viewer out there saying, you know, I've been thinking about running for city commission for years. You know, I, I, I'm going to I'm gonna reach out to Dave Waddington and, and tell yeah. him what I think. How do they get in touch with you? My uh, cell phone's 419-271-4736. It's on the uh, city website. If you go on the commission link, four one nine two seven one four seven three six. So if you're thinking about it, or you know someone who's thinking about it, you can reach out to Dave Waddington. Now, Dave, you're the you're the top vote getter in the history of the universe in the city of Sandusky. <laughs> okay, is that right? Uh, a couple times, yeah. <laughs> Dave has been the top vote getter in in different races that he's run. As we mentioned, he is in his fourth term. I the only thing I remember is Dave Waddington is a top vote getter. So you know how to get votes. How do you get votes? How did, how uh, did you accomplish? Well, that? the biggest thing for me, uh, I didn't have a lot of money to. Uh, I had uh, cards or door hangers made up. I had like two or three thousand, and then I had small business cards. Uh, both the last two times it was door to door. You know, going door to door in the city. Going door to door, like uh, I would start over on the 52nd Street, go up and down, park my uh, truck out on Columbus Ave somewhere, then go to 50th Street, then 48th Street, then 46th Street, then 44th, all the way down to 42nd. Okay, I'll call that a day. The next day, I might hop over to Central Ave and hit that area. And then go out to the west. So you're a proponent of meeting the people and, and asking for votes. And I remember uh, Gene Kidwell uh, knocking on his door, and I had a sign. And he goes, "What the hell are you doing here again?" It was like my third loop there. And what I do the third time is folks see a honk the horn, and that I might go every third house or every fourth yeah. house. But I go boom, boom, boom initially, and that saves on the mail cost. Uh, you know, and, and you'll you're, you'll be available to any potential candidates. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and you're not. You know, you know, you want candidates. You know, you'd rather have ten candidates for for how many seats are up? There's uh, three this fall, and the next or uh, in two years there'll be four. The biggest thing is not only candidates, but folks that might be interested in being on boards. I'd love to get a list that I could hand off. You know, down the city hall, these people are interested. I know we reached out. Uh, I know the register had an article that we were looking for folks that want to serve on boards. Even, yeah. Uh, Dennis Murray brought there, Commissioner Murray brought that up in one of the meetings that we're always looking for folks. It's a good uh, place to build a template if you decide to run. Uh, it's a nonpartisan race, meaning you, you can be Republican, you can be a Democrat, you can be uh, a Green Party, you can be whatever you want to be. You can be Libertarian. There is no party affiliation, it's a nonpartisan race. Dave is available. Uh, for advice, uh, he's done this before. He's he's given winning advice to candidates in the past. Uh, he's really in this for the good of the city. He's not. He, he doesn't have a favorite tribe, 
as it were, he's looking for people like we all are, and the register included, to help lead our city. You know, uh, learning it by committee, I think, is a great idea. Um, but if you have any questions about either serving on a committee or considering a run for Sandusky City Commission, or any office for that matter, uh, Dave is open to your phone calls and will, I mean, I, I think uh, that is a bargain. How much do you charge if they call? Is uh, it like zero. Zero. So you can get this advice for free by calling 419-271-4736. Uh, Dave, I loved having you on Between the Lines. I hope you come back uh, to tell us more about the okay. election as it develops. Okay. And whenever you want to be out between the lines, don't hesitate I'll to call. I'll stop down election night. All right. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you wanted to cover? Uh, biggest thing, if I could tell anybody, I think uh, the, at least the residents of Sandusky like the interaction of knocking on your door. Knocking on the door. Knocking that, on the that door. That one made you the top And they'll say, uh, I only got 30 seconds. We're here. I'll drop my card. By the way, your paint in your porch looks great. I love cats. You got a cat in the window. I'm always looking for stuff to make a connection because, you know, it's, uh, you got to do that. You got to be a salesman too. And then uh, be, stay positive. Good. Are you glad you ran for city commission? Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you ever regretted it? Uh, it was rough the first round. No, the second term, like oh, second seven, term. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, now it's more exciting, and especially since we just got this little over 18 million from the feds. Well, the second term, you had no money. No money. It, it was, was all gone. Right, right, right. Oh, that was bad. And that then, was bad. Uh, the last five, you know, four, five, six years, uh, it's taken off. It's entirely different. Uh, again, uh, if you do run, you vote as a body. So, like I told you earlier, uh, my the commission first, yeah, votes as a body. Yeah. So if you get out voted, if I voted no a few times, uh, I don't take it to heart. I, you know, it's uh, not one person. It's not personal. Right, right, right. right. I learned that early on in 04 from uh, uh, Leroy Sizemore. <clears throat> Former Mayor Leroy Sizemore? Yep, yep, yep. When I was on uh, with Tim and uh, Sue Ann Brown and Mike Kresser, uh, they, you know, I'd go outside, don't worry about it. I said, you know, that bother you, I voted no. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Get his car and I went my way and uh, it all worked out. Well, very good, Dave. I really appreciate you coming by and talking about this and I hope you'll come back and give us some updates. Okay. All right, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Uh, give that to uh,